Sagittarius. I'm when I tell you I gotta get a new form. <sighs> this thing don't pause, don't do nothing. If you stop the video done, that's the Apple phone. You know what? Let me go get my Android because my Android don't play them games. You could pause and come back. I had a whole I <sighs> Sagittarius. I'm still gonna post it. <laughs> right? But I was hitting y'all up to let y'all know that I got a new deck. <laughs> this is Edge Life Tarot. And I'm addicted to decks of cards. I absolutely love reading tarot. Okay. Um, and I was talking about how these contacts PSA announcement. These contacts messed up my eyes. So I can barely see you. I'm nearsighted. And I can't wear contacts because those messed up my eyes. Right? And so now I have to wait for a special kind of glasses. And today I went to get them and they wasn't right. I'm so sad, Sagittarius, but it's okay. So I figured out what you need to do when you're feeling down and bad or something and you really don't got nobody. You got to build yourself up, right? So... I love to do what I love to do best, what I like to do. If I'm feeling sad, I find something that makes me happy. This is our new deck. I just bought these out so I could throw a couple of these out there. Like, you feel me, Sagittarius? I'm really trying to get to these uh, Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. And if you anything know anything about me, I'm Shannon. This is Sag Life Tarot. I am a Sagittarius. That's why I do this Sagittarius channel. I absolutely love my subscribers. Y'all are the truth. Real talk. I love y'all. Let me get this out there. Ooh, Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels, Guardians, Ancestors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. You see how fast we be praying? You don't get to have a long, drawn-out prayer now. You know I pray for you in all kind of ways. All right. Let's get these out here because I'm trying to get these chakra cards out here. Let's see what the tarot deck want to tell us first of all. Go ahead and jump on out there like that page of coins. Okay, it's time to lay a foundation down. It's time to start building on what it is you really want to start setting up your life in a manner that you really want it to be in. Mm. Setting goals. Somebody studying magic. Could be me, right? Somebody is studying their magic, studying what makes you uh, you know what? I've been listening about that 20 word. Mm -hmm. Y'all heard about the celebrities with the 10, 20 words? The lovers is here. The celebrities with the 20 words. Y'all know it's not no words we don't know. So you got to come up with a 20 word. It don't got to be 20. That's just what the celebrities and they want you to pay for this. How you a multi-billionaire asking me to pay you $900 for 20 words? Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. That's the exact same thing they've been doing, trying to talk us into what they want us to learn, study your magic. This is laying your foundation. Study what makes things work for you. What work for somebody else might not work for you. So you got to find out what works for you. They told you in the Bible, don't do magic. Don't be a seer. Don't do tarot cards. Back then, it wasn't called tarot. It was divination. But I'm pretty sure back then they had tarot cards. I'm sure they did, right? And they was telling people, don't do it. But if you're a Bible reader, then you know what I know. That in the Bible, God had seers. God had people who could do these very things that we do. And there is no way he would say to you, don't do it. When he told you to tap into what makes you you. Come on, that's what Jesus came to tell us. The lovers is here. What is the lovers doing here? Why is the lovers here with the page of coins? And a page of wands. Because you keep on getting these men who ain't on your level. Mm, women. We can reverse that, baby. You keep getting these people that's not on your level. Whoever these people are, uh, they young. You got some goodness and mercy coming to you, though. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, like, you already in your energy of being able to comprehend what it is that makes you. You're already in your energy of being able to learn what it is that helps you. So you are already, you you just keep coming across people who not on the same energy level as you playful. Uh, you get, and they say good news two times. Good news, y'all. So, you know, somebody about to give you a message and it's going to be a wonderful message. You're going to be ecstatic about this message. It's claiming that romance is right here. It's claiming that romance is surrounding you right now. You just in the energy of people who can't 
give you the same energy that you've been given. Nine of Swords in reverse. <laughs> because there's some em emotional anguish going on. This is why the love looking so unsteady in your life. Because it's so much baggage. You got to go in yourself. You know that you are the temple. You got to go in your temple and clear out some of that baggage. You got to go in your temple and get rid of that past life uh trauma you got to go in your temple and release whatever love whatever was holding your love back it's here it's right here come on now it's real strong to hierophant period who how you was programmed oh child it's time to let go of how you was programmed. It is time to finally see right and wrong from your own point of view. It's finally time for you to stand on your morals and values. Not that your parents taught you, because yes, our parents taught us morals and values, but you, your morals and values back then don't resonate with morals and values today. Because today it's a whole different generation. And what you used to be able to use this, you cannot use that in this generation. So here it is, you are changing up what you've been through you are healing these feelings are so intense and you feel like you guilty for something that happened but release yourself it's time to release yourself whatever was holding you back you know this uh hierophant that's your parents telling you that's what the church told you that's what people that you grew up with told you back then it might have mattered but it don't matter today come on ten of swords it's the final chapter Ooh, this is what you've been going through honey it was worth the battle Sagittarius all I'm saying right here is your emotions your uh morals and values your goals and aspirations are right here before you this lovers is saying you got to make a choice on some things it's some time it's time for you to put in your own life align your own life what makes you happy Sagittarius it does not matter what other people think about it this is worth fighting for the things that you thought you needed to let go of because how could I dare do this when they told me back then not to do this it's time to let that go because you feel guilty for something you might have did that they was telling you oh you a sinner Sagittarius that's exactly what they told uh, remember Jesus was sitting with the sinners come on now if y'all a bible reader anything like me Jesus Jesus was sitting with the sinners. He said, I came not to save those that are already saved. I didn't come to heal people who already healed. I came to heal people who sick. We've been sick for a long time from people telling us what it's supposed to be, what it should be, how we should be, how we should conduct ourselves. But here it is, Sagittarius, you have come out of this energy and you are healing. If you have already healed, then you already know what it's like to go through the dark night of the soul because you had to go within, go through everything Every single last one of these rooms. Here, here we go. Here we go. We we trying to get to our chakras. If we can align every chakra and bring them together that they might work together. Do you understand the power that you have? That's what they've been telling you, Sagittarius, that you're not powerful. But you've learned your lesson, baby. You know your power. <laughs> and even if you... Don't, not quite sure yet, even if you still practicing. It's a right here, study of magic. That means it's time for you to study. How are you so magical? What makes you magical, Sagittarius? Come on, Chakras. I'm loving this. Look at the back of this card. The illustrations are beautiful already. Okay, look at this. That is so beautiful. Had a purple, the blue, the green, the yellow, the orange, the red. You know what? Yes. Let's see who said, who did it. Tori Hartman. Okay. These are her cards. And the illustrations is by Gretchen Baskin. Come on, Gretchen. You did a wonderful job. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Self-worth. That's your energy for today. Choose you. Your self-worth. You heard that knock at the door? Confirmation. I love you. Enjoy the rest of your night. I'll be back. You know I will. <laughs>